today. This is a great crowd. Uh, after yesterday, I, I told someone this morning, I was angry, then I cried, and then I got very angry last night. Uh, a, a lot happened yesterday in this country, a lot bigger than health care. And uh, this is serious business. I want to read something before I kind of start. For the last 24 hours, Speaker Pelosi, urged on by President Obama, Senator Reid, and empowered by John Tanner and every other Democrat who supports his team, made a power grab that would have made King George, uh, King George blush. When confronted with similar tyranny, taxes, mandates, our founders wrote a declaration that when any government becomes destructive of liberty, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it, to throw off such government, to provide new guards for our future security. Thanks to our founders, we can do just that this November. We can throw off this Congress, abolish this liberal majority, and elect new guards for our future security. That's why I'm running for Congress. Yeah. This is my family up here today with me, my dad, my mom, my sister, my three kids, and my wife. My kids, their future is why I'm running. I was asked to do this last summer by a business partner, a friend of my family that uh, now, he's sort of a friend, but. <laughs> <laughs> and I told him he was crazy. I said, get somebody better. And he said, we need people with character, integrity, some, someone that will stand up, someone with skin in the game, if you will. Well, let me tell you something. I got a lot of skin in the game here. These kids' future is at stake. We need a heavy dose of broad jump common sense and integrity and a lot less Chicago and San Francisco. Yeah. We all know the deficits. They're out of control, trillions of dollars. And there are three things we can do. One, we can stop digging the hole that we're in. We've got a president that thinks by raising taxes that he's fixing small business. Man, how crazy can you be? We've got to cut taxes for businesses. We've got to uh, ease depreciation rules, cut regulation, get government out of our lives. Let us do what our founders started this country out on. They were pretty good. They did a pretty good job. Nine of them were farmers. Can you believe? They, nine of them were farmers. So we need to get back to it. Like our founders, we face steep odds. I was looking uh, this morning at a couple of quotes, one by Ronald Reagan. The most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. <laughs> I tell you, if we ever forget that we're one nation under God, then we will be one nation gone under. Right. We've taken God out of here. We are a Christian nation. Our founders were Christian. And it's something wrong when we've taken prayer out of schools and little kids can sing anthems to President Barack Obama. Oh, if we'll get our priorities back straight, then we can get back on the right road. But we need good leaders that aren't afraid to stand up. I wasn't afraid to stand up against a 22-year incumbent last summer. Amen. 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 We're going to take this country back this fall, this fall in November. We're going to get a conservative majority. Republicans are some to blame for this as well. But yesterday they stood their ground. They did all they could. A lot of people have forgotten that and thought that their vote didn't matter. Well, yesterday showed that every vote counts. And we need leaders that are accountable. Uh, I was quoted uh, on Sean Hannity last week about if I don't do what I say I'm going to do, get a rope and be in my house on the weekend, Chris. That's accountability and that's what we need. We need representatives that will represent people in every county in this district. Haywood County, Crockett County, Madison, all over this district. That's what we like. We need representatives that will represent. I will do that. I'm smart enough to know that if you want farming advice, Chuck, I can tell you, some of it might be bad, but I can tell you. If you want legal advice, you ask a lawyer. If you want medical advice, you ask a lawyer. 
for some reason. Lawyers too. We got enough lawyers in Congress now. Here, here, here. We have developed. Congress has developed elitist mentality that they they have all the answers and they know what's best for us out in the real world. We need representatives and in the real world and know what it's like when you do a budget. Know what it's like maybe when your ends don't meet, when you have to go to the bank and uh, you don't hardly have enough. You know what it's like to make payroll. So many of our congressmen and senators, they don't know that. Right. We need to get back to that. This is about their future. And I need your help. I need your support. I need your prayers and I need your vote. And in November, we can take it back and we're going to. Thank you so much.